Following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to we got to this stage here where we've got the where we've got our parametric equations. In this video, we're going to look at the movement of the particle as t varies from negative infinity to positive infinity. Remember, t breaks down when it when it's dead on negative one because when when t is negative one, when you cube this, it will be a negative one, and then uh, and then when t equals negative one. The denominator would be zero, meaning the whole thing will break down. So just remember, that on negative one, it breaks down. So let's let's look at the uh, the particle. Remember, we are keeping track of this particle here, this purple dot. So currently, t is at negative five. So as we increase it, as we increase it, you can see the particle is moving to the right. The particle is moving to the right. Hang on, let's start again. The particle, hang on. The particle currently, the t is at negative five. As you increase it, uh, at, remember that on negative one it breaks down. But as you head towards negative one, all of a sudden it's well, it's moving to the right. Then all of a sudden it jumps right to the top. It jumps right to the top, and then uh, and then it heads towards the origin. And then as as you as t heads towards um, towards infinity, uh, this the particle just heads towards the origin. So let's let, let me start again and put it on play. So so it starts here. As you head towards negative one, it moves to the right, and then all of a sudden, it jumps all the way back up here, and then moves towards the origin, and then loop around here, and then heads towards towards um, the origin. So even even though as even though t heads towards infinity, it just heads towards the origin. So let 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 me put it on play. So all of a sudden, it jumps. Well, that that's the movement. So let's start again here, and then that's the movement one last time. So let's let's try and investigate what's going on by looking at limits. So wait right there. So now we, we know that on negative one it breaks down. So let's take the limits as t heads towards negative one uh, from the left hand side. So what that means is imagine you are here, you're heading towards negative one from the left hand side. That's from the left hand side here. So uh, so imagine you are currently here. Just to the left of negative one. So imagine you're you're at negative one point zero 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 zero. I don't know what three. So now if you put this, well, we're going to look at what it, the movement in the x direction. So we are going to put this into this t here, and then we are going to put it into this t here. So you've got a here you've got a number just to the left of uh, of negative one. So when you when you cube this number. The answer would be a negative number that's slightly bigger than than one. Uh, it would be a, a negative number slightly bigger than one. So so when you get one, take away this thing cubed, then it's going to give you something like this. It's going to give you a very very negative small number. So a negative naught point. I don't know what. I'm just going to imagine it as this. And then uh, and then when you put um, when you put negative one point whatever here, a really small number just to the left of negative one. When you put it into here, um, the whole thing here will be a negative, and it, it will be a definite number. I'm I don't know what I'm just going to imagine. Uh, three times a times whatever. I'm just going to imagine it to be this number. I don't know what it is. Uh, this number here, and then and then two negatives will cancel each other out, and then you're going to have a num a definite number divided by a number very very close to zero. So this whole thing here will be very very big, and it will be positively big because the two negatives. Cancel each other out, so that would be negative. Uh, sorry, that would be positive infinity. So what that means is, as t as you're here, so imagine, imagine you're somewhere here, and then as you head towards negative infinity, sorry, as you head towards as t heads towards towards negative one from the left hand side, then then in the x direction you're moving towards towards well in the x direction it's going to get, it's going to be very very big. So what that means is u x is moving positively big, so you can see it's moving to the right. So so your graph can only mean this. Mm -hmm. So uh, so x heading x t x t heading towards heading towards infinity means you're you're moving to the right all the time. So 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 you're actually moving to the right like this. So it can only mean this. It won't it won't mean you moving to the left because um, x of t 
gets bigger and bigger, x of t heads towards infinity. That means it must move to the right. If it moves to the left, then, then it will be negative infinity. So by, by looking at this, hang on, by, uh, by looking at this, um, it means that as you head, as you head towards negative one, um, in the x direction, it will head towards infinity. So what that means is, um, what that means is, it's heading to the right hand side like this. Okay, so so now uh, now we know that um, the part what, what it's doing is that as you head towards here the particle is moving like this, um, and then now let's look at what happens when you head when you're here and then you head towards negative infinity. So um, so let's take the limit as t heads towards negative infinity. So imagine you're here and you're heading towards negative infinity. So uh, let's look at this thing here. So let's look at this thing here. So, uh, so let's imagine t being very negatively big. Let's put, let's imagine minus nine 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 nine. So when you put this into here, this would be a negative very very big. Uh, the denominator would be very very big. I'm just going to imagine negative. When you cube it, it's going to be a massive number. And then, uh, and then when when you uh, remember, we are imagining at minus nine 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 nine. So when when you put this into here, um, this would be um, this this would be uh, a negatively big. Um, well, think think about it. The, the two would cancel each other out. The two t's would cancel each other out. As they, well, think about it. This this whole thing here will actually will actually head towards um, towards zero. And let, let me try and explain this. So when you're currently here, um, well, as t gets very very negatively big, you can you um, as t gets very very big, you can ignore this thing here because the denominator is, is a combination of two. When t gets very very big, you can pretty much ignore this negative one. So you can you can imagine the denominator acting as t to the power of three, and then and then this thing here, uh, the the two t's will cancel each other out, and then as as um, as it gets very very big, you can see that uh, well this is just a constant. And t squared is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, so it's heading towards zero. So what that means is, if you're currently here, if you head towards here, you're you're actually on this diagram. Hang on, on this diagram, you if you're here and you're heading towards negative one, you're 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 moving to the right. And then if you're head if you're heading towards negative infinity, you're actually heading towards one uh, to towards zero. You're heading towards zero because this the limit of this. Is zero, so you're actually heading towards zero. So what that means is, as you head towards negative, as t heads towards negative t, all that you're doing is so you're just heading towards zero. Even if it's minus nine, when t equals minus nine 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 nine, all that you're doing is you're just heading towards the origin. Okay, so I'll continue in the next video. So we've seen the case where where you're here and then you head towards negative one. That means you head to the right. And then if, if you're here and then you head towards negative infinity, it means you're heading towards the, uh, the origin. So let me, let me illustrate it here. So as you head towards, so, so, um, so, so if you're here, if you head towards negative infinity, you are heading towards the origin. You can see that here. And let me, let me put it here. So, so we are currently here. As you head towards negative infinity, you can see it's moving towards the origin. And then let's let's put it back to here. And then as you're heading towards negative one, you're actually moving to the right. Okay, so so back to here. So we uh, if you're here, if you move towards negative one, you're moving to the right. If you're moving towards negative infinity, you're moving to uh, towards the origin. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at these three cases. Okay.